All right, good day, good day, good day, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. I'm Peta. For those of you that are new here, welcome. Go ahead and hit like, comment, and subscribe. Tap the notification bell so you can know when I'm uploading to the channel. So I'm hoping that you guys are experiencing some amazing times right now. You know, things should be slowing down because it's close to the end of the year. We only have a couple of weeks into the new year, you know, and so... Things should be slowing down for a lot of you. So for those of you that is not slowing down for, I hope that you'll be able to eventually uh, be able to receive a break. Um, but a little bit about what's going on with me. Just getting everything ready for the apothecary, restocking the stores. Been doing a lot of little pop-up shops, a little events, things like that. Prepping for those things. Um, closing out things with clients, pre-licensure stuff. So it's a lot, uh, it's a lot going on over here, you guys. But I'm so excited to tell you guys that I am now, my vision is fully restored. So I'm talking about fully restored. Only thing I'm missing is um, nearsightedness, but better than 2020. So I'm just so grateful because I'm able to see things clearly, like for the first time actually in my life. You know, so this is just an amazing time that's happening for me even right now. All right, but I'm here tonight to give you guys your ancestor message. And um, I'm really apologetic for all of the times that I haven't been on here over the past couple of days and weeks. But there's a lot going on that I have to prepare for that I must get out that the ancestors are one and complete before the new year. So it has to be done. All right, but you guys are going to love it. You guys are going to really enjoy what's being pushed out this way for the new year. So, um, without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and get into your ancestor message. So, you guys, right now, um, what your ancestors are wanting you to know is that it's like a, a spiritual deepening that's happening right now. Like a spiritual deepening. And for many of you... You guys have been through some of the worst times, you know, some of the worst times in your lives. And a lot of you may have never thought that whatever that time was, whatever that time period was that you experienced, that you was going to be able to come out of that thing. But some kind of way you was able to rely on source, and rely on your guides and rely on your ancestors to assist you in being able to transmute that situation into something positive. And now here you are on the other side of it. And so because you're on this other side of it, it's almost like you're in in awe, you know. It's almost like in a, in some sense you you can't believe that you came out of this. That's what that's how I'm feeling. All right. And it and this feels so new. All right. It feels so new. And so your guys and your ancestors are saying, like, that's that deepening that's happening. And this deepening is not about, you know, how many um how many spiritual tenets you you know, you know, um, how much information you've absorbed, how much workings that you have done. But this is about that 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 growth that your soul is experiencing right now. It's like your soul is has been going through an upgrade or your soul is just going through some amazing soul growth and a lot of that soul growth for many of you throughout the year was painful, you know. But once you got on the other side of the pain, once you got on the other side of the the discomfort, because it might not have been painful for some, it may just have been a little uncomfortable. But once you got on the other side of whatever that feeling was, it's like, wow, like you can't believe it. And so here you are in this space um, experiencing this spiritual deepening, Okay. And so in this deepening, this is the space where you really tap into a power that you you was unsure that you even possess. All right. So that's what the answer is saying. Like you you tapped into this inner power that you were unsure that you even possess. And now that you have tapped into this inner power, now that you have tapped into this the 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 essence of this power, your ancestors are saying, like, you gotta look at any excuses that you're making for yourself right now. So before you move into the new year, your guys and your ancestors want you to examine any excuses that you could possibly be making for yourself right now so that you will not carry this into the new year. Because it's about to be a blissful time for many of you. 
But there are some things that you are going to have to drop off and you're going to have to rely on source to guide you. You're going to have to experience some humility. All right. You're going to have to experience some humbleness. You're going to have to be able to receive when people are wanting to assist you. And when your guides and your ancestors are throwing in that lifeline, you got to take it. OK, when they throwing in that lifeless, you got to take it. And they want you to know that everything like it's limitless for you. It's limitless for you. There are so many different opportunities available to you at your disposal. And the only thing that's holding you back is the things that you project. All right. And that's what your guys and your answers want you to know. It's figuring out a way to get on the other side of those projections. All right. And continuing to maneuver in divine love. Your guys and your answers are saying that like, you know, there's some things that some are in denial about all right there may be a situation or a, a particular thing that you're just you know kind of acting like it don't exist but you need to come into terms with that you need to come into terms with that what is that thing that you think does not exist and whatever that thing is you need to really focus on that because that's going to be the thing that's going to bite you okay so you really need to you really need to hone in on that there's some truths that you're going to have to establish with yourself right now. All right. So figuring out the things that you are in denial about. All right. But you shouldn't be in denial. Don't just lay there and act like certain things are not an issue. Don't don't avoid it. All right. Allow whatever it is. Focus on it. And figure out what you need to do to, if you can, eliminate it right now. You know, kind of get into a space to where it will not bite you in the butt later on because it's something that you're not facing. Okay, some of you are not facing it. Mm hmm. There's some forgiveness that needs to take place, maybe forgiveness of self or forgiveness of other people. All right, but whatever this forgiveness is, once this forgiveness takes place, you're gonna understand. You're gonna see. You're gonna see a lot of changes that's going to occur. That. I, that deepening a is something serious it's like it's this deepening is deeper than a reflection you know it's it's, it's like even deeper than a reflection it's like a, a like a soul search slash soul dig out all right and that offering that true offering that true sacrifice was that was that thing that you was willing to endure in order to get here all right, the thing that you was willing to go through and put up with in order to get to the space that some of you are in right now. And I'm just so grateful that um, a lot of you were able to experience this space and experience this energy. All right, because you was able to do what was necessary and take the guidance of your ancestors and your spiritual team. You allowed them to guide you. And what they're saying is they want you to continue to allow them to guide you. The more that you allow them to assist you, you'll notice a lot of the changes. You'll notice a lot of continued change. Invite them to help you. All right. So that's what they're saying. Like invite us to help. Always be open to inviting them to help. And if you guys are in need of like prayers that you should say to your ancestors, just let me know. I will post them on the community. Tab. I'll post them somewhere where y'all can get them so that y'all can know like how to, you know, how to commune with your ancestors and how to pray to your ancestors. All right. How to open your altar every time you go to it. How to close out at night when you're dealing with your ancestors. But Continue to allow them to guide you and allow them to help you on this journey, okay? Trusting. They are definitely wanting you to continue to trust them, all right? Because sometimes in, in your mind, it might it might seem like, like, how am I supposed to trust them? Like, I don't even know if they're there or not. They are there. And when you call them forth, you're going to witness it. Like, they're going to show it to you in an amazing way, all right? You're going to witness it. You're going to witness the, the true power of your ancestors. You're going to wish, witness the true um, abilities of your ancestors when you call on them and you ask them to assist you and your, your creator and your, and your spirit team. But you will see the difference. They're saying that this thing that you are going to birth into the new year that you have already began working on, that you're going to mother it. And the way that you're going to mother it is going to flourish in such a way but you can't just you can't just part-time mother it. It's not something that you could do 
and then have your kids come and help you do it too. You know, this ain't one of those type of motherments. You have to be consistent with this thing. You have to take care of this thing. You have to, you have to mother this thing like how you would mother a newborn baby. All right. But you, once you begin to mother it, you're going to see how grounded you're going to be in this thing. You're going to be grounded. You're going to be in your flow. It's going to be like Elvin flow for real. You're going to just be so content with where you are in your life. And that's for those of you that have been experiencing this deepening the way that you're supposed to be experiencing it. But it's, 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 it's time out for all that sitting down. They don't want you sitting down no more. They want you up and they want you at it, you know, and building and planning. So when it's time for you to do your vision board, do your vision board for real. Do your vision board with a checklist. Make sure you got a checklist, all right? Make sure you're asking them, like, where can y'all be of assistance in my life? Because that's what they really wanted. They wanted, they wanted to be of assistance in your life. And just being that kid again, being that child again, all right? And when you're dealing with that child, figuring out what are some of those things that you would have liked when you're dealing with those different child wounds, what are some of those things that you would have liked to talk to that child about? You know, what are some of those things that you would have done differently with that child? In this deepening process, it's going to be a lot of things that's coming to fruition. But the main thing you're going to experience is that divine love. And you're going to experience that fullness of your power. The fullness of it. Not just a little bit of it. And saying that, like, when you're moving forward in this, ensure you maintain your integrity. Do what it is that you are desiring to do. Of course, do what you're being led to do, but do what it is that you are desiring to do. Because your desires are in direct alignment with what your guides and your ancestors are wanting for you. All right? So all of that is in direct alignment with what your guides and your ancestors are wanting for you. Some of you guys are kind of feeling like how I'm feeling. Like you're feeling like you're seeing for the first time in your life. It's like when, when the baby eyes come open for the first time and it's begin not, not come open for the first time because when it first come open, it's kind of foggy, right? But as time progresses, what happens is the baby begins to see. It begins to recognize faces. It begins to see more than silhouettes and it begins to see the definition. All right, and so that's where, that's where a lot of you are at right now. That's where your ancestors are saying you're at, and that's, that's exactly where you're supposed to be. You're supposed to be seeing the defining lines. All right, you're supposed to be seeing the intricate details of this thing. All right, but they don't want you to be, um, look, the printer came on, right? Yeah, intricate details, right? But they don't want you to be afraid. They don't want you to be scared. They don't want, they don't want any of those feelings to interfere with what you got going on because what they're saying is is like you have all that you need you have it you have everything that you need within you it has been you have been cultivating it over time in, in that deepening process that's what you've been doing too you've been creating and cultivating your your talents and your gifts and sometimes it's been rocking. Sometimes you feel like you knock something down, right? Or knock something over or punch a hole in the wall, whatever it is. Feel those feelings, okay? You guys and your guys are saying that like a lot of you guys have been having mood swings. Some of those mood swings are necessary. Some of those mood swings are because they're with you, right? And so you're not quite used to harnessing those different energies. And that's okay, you know? But they're present with you. So when you're talking to them, you're like, hey, ancestors, you know, I'm, I'm feeling a little uneasy right now. I know that you guys are around me, but could you guys help me ground this energy because I'm not used to all of this energy. You can ask them and they'll draw back, but they be wanting to be so close to you. You be feeling all kinds of stuff. All right. But yes, you guys, that's pretty much it. I'm not going to hold you guys too long because the ancestors don't really want me to hold you guys that long tonight. Um, but that's what they wanted me to let you know that the possibilities for you are endless, that you are moving in divine love, that they want you to continue to allow them to guide you, continue to allow them to be um, in your life the way that they are. Continue holding space for them, being committed to your process and being committed to your journey, maintaining your integrity while still looking out for those things that 
may not necessarily um, resonate with you. All right. So that's pretty much it, you guys. Experience that deepening. Go ahead and embrace that new inner power that you guys have worked so hard to obtain. And I will be back on here. I'm not sure how much time I'm going to commit to um, the messages, you know, this week or next. So I don't want to get everybody hopes up. But I really appreciate you guys just sticking with me. Um, there's going to be some exciting things coming after the new year starts. Um, lots of new information coming to the channel. Lots of new things coming to the platform. I kind of wanted to do it this year, but, you know, they held me off because my burn rate is super fast like get something and be gone with it right right away um also if you guys are interested in soul charts i am doing the soul charts on my website um I, i'm limiting the soul charts to a certain amount per month because it's, it's a very tedious process but if you're wanting to get a deeper understanding of who you are as a person then those soul charts are available it's kind of similar to a birth natal chart, but it's a very in-depth um, natal chart. And it just tells you about the different things that are happening right now, your different burns rates, the different um, phases that you're in in your life according to astrology and things like that. So sometimes that's helpful to some people who has not had an in-depth um, birth chart explanation. So that is also available on the website right now. Um, I will not be doing any um, comic releases until the new year, um, but Ancestral Therapy is available on the website. Um, mentorship and coaching is available on the website, so you guys can get in on that because that's going to be starting here up in January. So I really appreciate you guys tuning in. If you guys are interested in coming on Patreon, I'm on Patreon more than I'm on YouTube, you guys. So if you're interested in coming on Patreon and coming into our support group and things like that, where we talk about all things, not just spiritual, and talk about all the different things that we are experiencing as a collective and not, you know, not just putting down the energies that are kind of what some call quote unquote low vibrational, I call real life, right? You know, we just kind of help each other through that and, and talk through those things that we're going through. All right. So that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed the ancestor message. Enjoy that deepening of that spirit. And I'll holler at y'all.